I can't believe it. I can't believe it. You're going to review my movie. This is this movie. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Homer. Calm down, yellow dude. But you're going to review my movie. I can't believe it. Well, then, you know what? We should start off this review with a little... Simpsons tune by Green Day. Oh my gosh, I freaking love Green Day. Then let's dance to the song, man. Yeah! One, two, one, two, three, four. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review higher, higher, oh for God's sakes. This movie right here, the Simpsons movie. Hooray! Woohoo! I am super excited! Okay, well, before I do review the Simpsons movie, I actually have a couple of guest stars, Homer. Really? Who? Marvel DC Fans Reviews and The Wolf of YouTube. <gasps> oh my gosh, those dudes are freaking awesome! So, Homer, you want to do the honors? Yep. Marvel DC Fans Reviews and The Wolf of YouTube, take it away. Hey there, 22 Tiger Dude fans. My name is Marvel DC Fans Reviews, and I'm here to review The Simpsons Movie. Now, The Simpsons Movie came out back in 2007. I know it seems like a long time ago. But the basic plot of the film is that after the town decides to try and clean out their lake, Homer, being Homer, decides to dump a silo full of pig crap into the lake and it basically causes it to pollute and be at catastrophic levels and the head of the EPA voiced by Albert Brooks decides that they need to do something to stop the spread of the pollution and he tricks the president who is mimicking Arnold Schwarzenegger to seal off the town and make it under quarantine so basically the town is put under a gigantic bubble everyone's trying to get out and, of course, the Simpsons find a way out and are trying to save their hometown. All the meanwhile, Homer's trying to save his marriage and his relationship with his family. Now, I saw this back in 2007, the opening day with my dad, and I have to say that I really enjoyed it. It was classic Simpson, Simpsons humor. This was back when I was really into The Simpsons. I was binge-watching all the seasons as much as I possibly could, and I think this is probably the height of the show. In general because it knows exactly what it is it makes fun at the very beginning of the movie you know why are you paying for something that we see on TV for absolutely free everyone here is a big sucker especially you just funny things like that that make the movie enjoyable and of course the cast of characters is awesome there are some great lines in here said by Homer Bart Marge Lisa all the cast the whole spider pig gag that goes on is probably one of the funniest parts I still laugh at that today and it definitely hasn't lost its touch. I watched this movie several times after I bought it on DVD, and it's just an absolutely great movie, and I hope that they make a sequel one day. They've talked about it possibly, but there's really been no confirmation one way or another, and, you know, I think it'd be great to see because the Simpsons TV series, you know, while it is still around, it is, it's starting to, I think, fade, you know, kind of fast with its popularity. It's starting to get a little bit outdated. They're having trouble keeping up with some of the newer shows, but... It's just a great movie all around. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely go and check it out. I'm going to give the Simpsons movie an A+. So anyways, you guys, as I said on Marvel DC Fan Interviews, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe to 22 Tiger Dude because he always has Tiger Power. Thanks for watching, guys. Hello, everyone on 22 Tiger Dude's channel. I'm the Wolf of YouTube. Today, we're going to be talking about the Simpsons movie. So back in 2007, I remember being really excited for this film. This is just a really fun film. I really enjoy it. All the jokes hit. There really aren't any jokes to really miss. With. I think this is one of the better animated movies. It's kind of like a big marketing ploy to get the show back up again when it came out. But when it did come out, I think the show kind of went downhill a little bit. A lot of the jokes just felt kind of exhausted. Now it just really feels exhausted to me. I don't enjoy the show anymore. But the old episodes are really funny. And this movie really shows The Simpsons at their best. There are a few times in this film where it's a little bit boring. But overall, it's just a really fun film. I'm going to give The Simpsons movie a 3.5 out of 5. So thank you, 22 Tiger Dude, for letting me be in this video on your channel. Thank you to everyone on 22 Tiger Dude's channel for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out my channel. And I'll see you there. Thank
Thank you so much, Marvel DC Fans Reviews and The Wolf of YouTube. Okay, Homer, sit down, because I'm about to start reviewing your movie. Woohoo! So, The Simpsons Movie. This is the movie us Simpsons fans have been waiting for for a very long time. I am a huge fan of The Simpsons. I love the cartoon. I've grown up with the cartoon. I still love the cartoon. It's just a cartoon I'm always going to cherish forever and ever. It makes me laugh. It makes me entertained. And I just love the characters. So my thoughts on The Simpsons movie? I think it's a very fun animation film. This is definitely what a Simpsons movie should be. And I thought the writers and everyone that was involved in this project did a really good job. And I gotta say the storyline for a movie like this is really interesting. It definitely has the Simpsons humor. The characters are all really good. Homer is my favorite Simpsons character and he was funny here. This show has a ton of characters. We all know that. But this film does such a good job of giving all of the tons of side Simpsons characters small roles and it was really enjoyable to see them in this film. I love the pig that Homer had for like the first act of the film. <laughs> Definitely really entertained me. The humor for the most part really does make me laugh so hard. The movie does such a good job of just capturing that Simpsons humor. Just being dumb and silly, but that's how The Simpsons should be. I felt like the heart was really genuine. It even got me maybe choked up a couple of times. And there was also this storyline where Bart is with Ned Flanders, and I really enjoyed that storyline. Not only is it just the humor that makes this movie work, but it's the relationships with each of the characters, how conflicting Homer and Bart are with each other, how Homer is being all stubborn, just things like that make this movie interesting. The animation looks absolutely beautiful. The color schemes, the details. It probably looks slightly better than the show itself. The movie has very great animation. Of course, we have the voice cast from the show who do just as brilliant voicing the characters as they do with the television show. You're also going to find some surprising voice cameos from big celebrities that you have to listen carefully to get their cameos. The cameo I do want to mention is Tom Hanks' cameo. That's definitely one of the funniest parts of this whole film. It was just really cool to see Tom Hanks in a Simpsons movie. Because Tom Hanks is one of my favorite actors of all time. Albert Brooks, he voices this character, Russ. And he's the evil lead of the Environmental Protection Agency. He's the one that puts the dome under Springfield and why the rest of the Springfield citizens couldn't get out. Danny Elfman, that man just knows how to craft such terrific music. I really enjoyed how the finale of the film was handled. It was just a lot of fun. And of course, it's just fun to see Homer try to save Springfield. It just really has you going, go! Oh, Homer. <laughs> I also really loved Green Day's theme for The Simpsons. You know, the one that goes da na 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 You hear it in the beginning and you hear it during the end credits. That was really awesome right there. I really thought how Green Day just made The Simpsons theme. It fit this movie so well and it was actually really clever. My only flaws with The Simpsons movie is that I do feel like just a few scenes do drag on a little. It gets a little boring in those few scenes. The finale is a lot of fun but I do feel it's a little bit rushed. I really enjoyed the pig gag that was used in the first act of the film but after that they don't really show the pig ever again after the first act and they don't use that gag again. I wish that they used the gag at least a little more but it was really funny for how it is and I understand they probably stopped it because it would probably get repetitive after a while but still I would have loved to see some more of the pig gags like you know spider pig all those gags it was just really clever to me and I also did feel like that the third act isn't as funny as the first two acts it still had enough humor for me to laugh at but I felt like it was kind of lacking I wish the third act 
Effect just had a little bit of that Simpsons humor magic. But regardless, it was still a very good third act. Overall, I had a lot of fun with the Simpsons movie. It's definitely what a Simpsons movie should be. I do think the TV show is better than the movie itself, but... It's still a very refreshing movie. It's just a very well-made Simpsons movie. The heart, the passion, it was all there from the makers. And I say they did such a good job creating such a well-crafted Simpsons movie. So I give the Simpsons movie three out of four stars. Woohoo! Well, Homer's definitely happy. Hell yeah! Oh yes, he's very happy. Kapow! Okay, we get it, Homer. Please subscribe to Marvel DC Fans Reviews and The Wolf of YouTube. I will leave a link in the description below. I want to thank those two for guest starring in this review. They're very nice dudes. They're very passionate about films. So it was really awesome to have them review the Simpsons movie with me. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.